guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and do the T110E5 with a crew of four. Unfortunately, there's no information on dimensions. This was a concept tank, so there wasn't any prototypes built, so we don't have any dimensions. Its role was a heavy tank, and the number built was none. Again, just a concept. Armaments include 120mm M558, also including a 30 cal and a uh, 50 cal. You can see right there the engine, 875 horsepower and performance, max speed none, and all that information there. Uh, but anyways, enjoy the tutorial. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare2 over here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. And today's tutorial will be going ahead and building the T110E5. This tank here is an American heavy tank that was developed from 1952 as a heavy tank with a more powerful armament compared to the M103. Um, it's a very kind of smallish tank for a heavy tank because restrictions were placed on it so that the tank could actually pass through narrow tunnels of the Berniza Alps. And uh, several designs of these were considered, uh, but the project was cancelled and no vehicles were ever built. So uh, basically this uh, tank uh, was just a complete um, experimental tank and never was actually produced whatsoever. Uh, but a lot of you guys have requested it and it's kind of a cool interesting uh, heavy tank and kind of like part of the you know forgotten uh, vehicles of like the uh, early stages of kind of like the Cold War era. So uh, overall it's pretty cool though I like the way it came out and I do believe I built this in one of my live streams not 100% sure but I think I did so pretty cool stuff. Um, so to start off with we have the uh, main gun now I'm not sure how big of a gun this is um, you guys will probably have uh, I'll probably have told you guys in the beginning little uh, intro bit but uh, as of recording this I have no clue how big that gun is so uh, not quite sure. Uh, but it's a pretty big gun. That's for sure. Um, I'm not I'm also uh, this is part of uh, day five for my nation theme week for the United States So in case you guys were wondering this is part of uh, day five and uh, Anyways, uh, you got the coaxial machine gun up here along with a 50 cal uh, Kind of one of those automated turrets kind of similar to what the m48 Patton had um, You can see here we got the antennas a uh, little bit of a extra box. that was kind of added on to the um, rear of the turret for extra storing extra equipment and stuff like that and on the back, you just got some detailing with a uh, fence, brake lights, a little trailer hitch there. And um, overall, just a lot of cool little interesting stuff. You'll see it's go it sits a little bit low, and uh, that's the whole intention because it's supposed to pass through uh, narrow tunnels and all that stuff. So it's a little bit of a shorter tank compared to other heavy tanks that I've made. And uh, it, that is actually intended to be like that, so pretty cool stuff. And uh, that's pretty much overall the tank. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's a pretty nice kind of small heavy tank and uh, looks pretty good. So hopefully you guys do enjoy it. And uh, later out today, I will be coming out with the UH-60 Blackhawk to uh, act as day six. And also for day seven tomorrow, I'll be releasing the F-18 uh, fighter jet as a tutorial. So you guys can expect to see those uh, for the remaining few days of our nation theme week for America. But other than that, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial, starting off with layer one. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to layer one. Now for layer one to get started here, we're gonna take some nether brick half sabs and place down one and two, just like that. Then we're gonna follow that up by placing down two nether brick top sabs, like so, coming off those nether brick half sabs. Now our tank is gonna be facing that direction, so you can see here that the track is meant to start to curve up here on the left side, kind of curve up like that. Um, towards the front, you can see that's what we just did over here on the left side, that's what we just did over there. Um, you guys can kind of take that into perspective on how big the tank is and how much space it's going to take up. You guys saw the mentions in the beginning of the video. So again, just make sure you guys have enough space for the vehicle. Uh, but once you guys are all set there, we're going to continue on by placing down two green stain clay full blocks, just like this. Then we want to place down two uh, dark liquid stairs like that. And then we're going to place down another two directly behind it. Then we're going to place down two green stain clay full blocks, followed by another two back-to-back -back stairs, just like that. Two green stain clay full blocks, across, two dark oak wood stairs, and then two back to back, so just like that. And so when you get finished with this, we should have a total of three of these rows of two of green stain clay, and then three of these uh, back to back dark oak wood stairs sections, just like that. On the ends of these green stain clay blocks, we're just going to go ahead and put down some stone buttons as well, and those are going to basically be the road wheels that would be on the tracks. Now, once you have that complete, we want to go ahead and take a nether brick stair, place down an upside down one right after that dark oak wood stair on the back, like so. Then we're going to go ahead and go up to this uh, nether brick half sab up here, place down a dark oak wood top sab, followed by a second and a third one across, just like that. And then going on to the back here, we're going to go ahead and go to this dark oak wood stair, place down one, two, and three, 
That dark oak with top steps across, followed by one that comes back from the center just like that. And then in this space in between, we're just going to go ahead and fill this all in by placing down our dark oak with top slabs, just like this all the way in to fill this space all up like so. And this is going to be the very bottom of the hole of the vehicle, uh, just like that. Now, once you guys have that all complete, we're going to go ahead and just do the same thing we did on the other side, the left side there, over here to the right side. So take your nether brick, place that down, green stain clay blocks as well, dark oak wood stairs, all that stuff. You're going to go ahead and just repeat the same process. So just like this over here to this side. And we're just going to go ahead and do this real quickly. Just uh, repeating the pattern and our dark oak wood stairs back to back and our upside down nether brick stairs like so. And then taking our stone bunch, we're just going to place them on the ends of those green snake clay blocks just like that. And uh, we also want to go ahead and go to the front up here. And we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate here on either side and open it up so it looks like it connects to those dark oak wood top sabs. And then on the back here, we want to go ahead and place down two dark oak wood fence gates like this on either side, uh, opened up again to connect to the dark oak with top steps, and then one that comes off the back, just like that for the trailer hitch. Other than that guys, that's it for layer one, and with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer two. Alrighty guys, so moved on to layer two. Now for layer two, what we wanna do is take our nether brick stairs, place down a two across the nether brick top steps like that on either side, and then in between those nether brick top, or stairs actually, we're gonna place down a row of three here of, um, of these uh, dark oak wood uh, half steps, just like that. And then on the ones on the outsides here, we're just going to go ahead and place down a item frame just like that. And we'll come back to those in a sec in which we're going to go ahead and put the glass in. But for right now, we're just going to go ahead and continue on. Now, after we do that, we're going to place down two green stained clay full blocks between or behind these uh, nether brick stairs just like that. And then we want to place down one more that comes in toward the inside. And then in the very center, we're going to place down a snow block like that to represent the uh, American kind of army star uh, uh, logo. Then we want to go to this second green stain clay block right here, and we're just going to go and take a row all the way back uh, till we get to this dark oak wood stair back here, just like that. And then at this point here, we're going to place down a green stain clay block that comes out like that. And we just want to go and do the same thing over here on this side, all the way back like this, and then place down a green stain clay block that comes out to the side. So you should get something kind of looking like that. Now once you guys have that complete, we can go ahead and put our tracks in. So for this, it's a pretty uh, simple, repetitive design. We want to place down another brick top slab. Upside down dark oak wood stair, nether brick top slab, upside down dark oak wood stair, and so on. Top slab, upside down stair, top slab, upside down stair. Re very repetitive pattern, just like that. And we also want to go ahead and go to these green stain clay blocks and place down a stone button on them, just like that. And we'll go over here to the left side, do the same thing with our tracks. So just go ahead and take this all the way down, like so. And boom, just like that. And again, don't forget your stone buttons on those green stain clay blocks. Now on the back here, we're going to go ahead and take our nether brick stairs, place down two on top of those upside down nether brick stairs, just like that for the backs of the track. And then taking our polished anisite, we're going to place down a row of three across in between the nether brick stairs like that. Then uh, coming off these nether brick stairs, we're going to place down two dark oak wood stairs just like that for the back fenders. And again, taking our item frames, we're going to place down uh, one on either side of those polished anisite full blocks. Now, once we have that all complete, we want to go ahead and uh, actually grab ourselves um, some of these uh, blocks here. So we're going to use red stained glass, put it in the item frames at the rear of the vehicle. So see if we can actually do it. There we go. Popping the item frame off. Perfect. Uh, so we just want to go ahead and put it in the item frame. If we can actually do that. Jeez. And those are going to be your back brake lights. And then come up to the front here. We're just going to go ahead and use regular glass blocks. And we're just going to place it down in those item frames just like that to form your front headlights. Once you guys have that all done, you guys are done with uh, our uh, second layer, and we can go ahead and move on to layer three. Alrighty, guys, so moving on to layer three. For layer three, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by taking our green carpet, placing down two carpets on top of those two nether brick stairs, just like that on the top. Then we're going to go ahead and place down two more right after those, so just like that. And then we want to place down one on top of the nether brick top side like that on your side. Once you guys have that done, in between these carpets, we're going to place down a row of five of, of uh, dark oak wood half slabs. After that, you want to go ahead and place down a green stain clay block in the center. Like that, after that row 5, place down a dark oak wood stair on either side of that green stain clay block. Followed by in there, dark oak wood half side coming out to the sides. Then taking a lever, we're going to place down one on top of the dark oak wood stair. That's upside down, like this on the side. And make sure you have your lever uh, flicked in so it looks like it connects to that dark oak wood half slab. Once you have that done on the sides, we're going to place down two, or sorry, three dark oak wood half sabs and then alongside those dark oak wood half sabs we're going to place down three green stained clay full blocks 
So just like that, and this could be your interior space right here um, if you choose to put any inside of it. Then uh, once you guys go ahead and do that, we're gonna place down a lever uh, again on the sides, just like that. And so we're gonna follow that up by placing down a dark oak wood stair and make sure your lever's flicked so it looks like it's connecting to the stair, just like that. Once you guys have that done, we're gonna place down a row of three of green stained clay in between our stairs. And coming off of those green stained clay blocks, we're gonna place down three dark oak wood uh, stairs, just like that. Now, uh, basically over here, this is gonna be a little bit different on either side. So on the left side here, we're gonna place down a dark oak wood half sub. And on the right side here, we're going to place down a red sandstone half slab. Half that redstone sandstone half slab, you're going to place down a second one going back just like that. Now, over here on this side, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and place down uh, two of these uh, stone brick half slabs. And then we're going to place down another two. Over here, we're going to place down one next to that red sandstone half slab and then two just like that. And in the space in between them, we're going to place down two dark oak wood half slabs. Then on the back here, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood half slab on either side, followed by a dark oak wood stair like that. And this would be part of the uh, mount that would actually be um, able to clamp onto the barrel for the, if they were transporting it. Uh, the chair would be uh, reversed around so that they can actually uh, clamp the barrel down so it's uh, stable for uh, transporting. So that's what we have going on there. And then uh, on the sides here, we're going to place down two green carpets, followed by a lever on top of that green stained clay block and two green carpets on top of the Nurbic stairs and just the same thing over here on this side. So just like that. And uh, once you guys have uh, that all done, you guys are done with your third layer. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer four. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to layer four. For layer four, what we wanna do is you wanna go ahead and start, start off by taking our dark oak wood stairs, placing down a row of three across the uh, top of those stairs and green stink wave full blocks, just like that. Then coming off that center stair, we're gonna place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, actually yeah, eleven of, of these dark oak wood half slabs that come off of it just like that. On the very end of the barrel, you're going to go ahead and skip the first one, go to the second and third one, just like this, and place down two wooden trap doors, just like that, um, to kind of show that the barrel gets a little bit thicker on the end. Now after you guys go ahead and do that, we're going to place down a, a dark oak wood stair on this green stained clay block on either side. After that dark oak wood stair, you're going to place down two green stained clay full blocks. Followed by a dark oak wood stair on top of that dark oak wood stair, just like that. And then uh, we want to go ahead and place down three green stain clay full blocks on top of those dark oak wood stairs. Followed by a second row of three, just like that. Now also for the top up here, we want to go ahead and pretty much fill this all in. Because this will all be exposed from the top, so we're just going to fill the space all in um, of the turret, just like that. And uh, for this back section here, if you guys want to go ahead and add it on, uh, not all of uh, the pictures I saw of the uh, the T110E5 actually had this, so you know it's kind of up to you guys if you want to add this, but this is a little uh, basket thing on the back which I thought kind of looked cool. So for this we're going to go ahead and place down three wooden trap doors across those green stain clay full blocks like that. We're going to crouch, place down a wooden trap door on the end here, one like this on that wooden trap door, uh, one right here, oops, let's see, my bad, okay, sometimes it's a little finicky, there we go, on top of the stair there. Uh, one like that on top of the iron bar, or not iron bar, but <laughs> trap door. There we go. And you're going to create a little, little basket. So you guys can kind of get the idea with that. And um, yeah, so once you guys have that up, set up, you guys are good with that. Uh, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a lever on the right side here. We're going to go ahead and place down a lever just like that. And also, we want to go ahead and also put this light in. So for this light, we're going to go ahead and go to this green stain clay full block on the left side. Place down a green stain clay full block coming off of it. Followed by a zombie head on the back. We're also going to go ahead and need to grab ourselves an item frame. Which we'll go ahead and uh, throw away our zombie head because we won't be needing that. Needing that. So a uh, item frame with a, uh, let's see if we can get the glass block from it. With a glass block in the item frame just like that for the light. There we go. And uh, after you guys go ahead and do that, we're going to place down a dark oakwood fence gate. Coming off that dark oakwood stair on either side. On the right side here, a stone button on that green stain clay full block for detail. And also the coaxial machine gun on this dark oak wood stair, just like that on the right side. And uh, once you guys have that all done, you guys are done with your uh, fourth layer. And with that, we can go ahead and uh, move on to our last final layers, uh, which will be layers uh, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, I believe. Uh, I believe it's something like that. So we'll go ahead and just move on to our last final layers and finish this vehicle off. Alrighty, guys. So going ahead and moving on to our last final layers of the vehicle. Basically, for these layers, we're just going to be putting the machine gun on top, some hatches, details, and just the antennas, and we're pretty much going to be good to go with this vehicle. So anyways, to uh, get started here, we're going to go ahead and go to the right side, place down a wooden trap door right here, 
followed by a stone button right after that wooden, wooden trap door. Then we want to go ahead and go over to this uh, this uh, green stainquay block that's kind of the center of the turret. We're going to place down a dark oak wood stair, followed by one like this, and one like that. So we're going to have a block space in between the stairs, in which in that space we're going to place down a green stainquay block. Coming off that block, we're going to place down one and two dark oak wood fence gates, just like that for the machine gun. And then on top of this for a hatch, we're going to place down a wooden trap door, uh, just like that. Now once you guys have that done, we're going to go ahead and go to the back section here. Place down a wooden trap door on the left side and then a stone button on the right side. And then also on top of these wooden trap doors, we're just going to place down three green carpets just like that. And that's going to complete that little back, back um, cargo box or something like that. Now, uh, once we have that all done, we're going to go ahead and go to this uh, where the stone button is. We're going to go ahead and go one block forward, place down a dark oak wood fence post, followed by one, two, three, uh, let's see, and four iron bars up just like that. And then we want to go to this lever, we're going to crouch, and on top of the lever we're going to place down a iron bar, followed by two, three, and four up, just like that. And that's going to be making the antennas on the vehicle. And uh, that guy's right there is going to basically do it for the T110E5. It's a very cool uh, vehicle and hopefully you guys do enjoy. One of the last American heavy tanks of uh, the time, so it's very, very cool. And uh, again, hopefully you guys do enjoy the vehicle. And uh, if you guys do end up using this design, be sure to give me proper credit. This be anything from a sign on the build to link to my channel or this video if this does appear on any social media sites. Just be sure to give proper credit for the vehicle. That's all I ask for uh, when doing these uh, tutorials. Helps my channel grow and it helps uh, me continue to produce these tutorials. But other than that, guys, be sure to suggest what Modern Warfare vehicles you guys want to see next time. And I'll be sure to try to get to them as soon as I can. And other than that, thanks again for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett2x4 and I'll see you guys next time.